Hi, and welcome to Karen's Kitchen. Today, we're coming from our ranch in Richards, Texas. Today, I'm gonna make gazpacho. We're gonna start with four peeled tomatoes. I'm gonna show you an easy trick on how to peel a tomato. Watch me. First, you put a fork in the tomato, and then you make four little slits. This is gonna allow the skin to come off easily. You're gonna put it in boiling water for about 30 seconds. Doesn't take very long. It depends on the size of your tomatoes. But as soon as you see them start to blister, then you know that the skin will come off easily. You're not trying to cook the tomatoes. You're just trying to get the skin off easily. All right, let's see if it's ready. So I'm gonna take a little paring knife and see if the skin will come off. It's coming off pretty easily. It's pretty blistered. And as soon as I get the skin off, I'm gonna put it into an ice bath so that it doesn't continue to cook. I don't want the tomatoes cooked. I want raw tomatoes. I just want peeled tomatoes, raw peeled tomatoes. And this is a good little trick that you can use for any recipe that you have that calls for a peeled tomato. Then you just put it into a little quick ice bath so that it cools it off and doesn't continue cooking. Little piece of skin left there. Okay, that looks like that's probably gonna be good enough. So the next thing that I'm going to do in this recipe is to take the core out. And then I'm going to cut it into quarters. Before we came on, I already did the other three tomatoes. There's gonna to be four tomatoes peeled all together. So here goes your first tomato inside your blender. If you have a food processor, that will work as well. Second tomato in your blender. Third tomato in your blender. And your fourth tomato in your blender. That's all you have to do. Okay. So the next ingredient is going to be two cucumbers or one English cucumber. I prefer the English cucumber because I like the taste better and they don't bother my stomach. So this is one large uh, English cucumber already cut up. English cucumber, you don't have to peel. So in you go. Now, after I put these two ingredients in, I'm going to put in one cup of tomato juice just regular, old-fashioned tomato juice, nothing special. If you like your spicy, you can certainly put like a Bloody Mary mix in. But I'm gonna put this in so that I have some liquid to turn my blender on with. So just a regular blender. I'm gonna do it on the chop. And turn it off. The other ingredients are gonna be a half a cup of, of bell peppers. I like red bell peppers orange bell, pep bell peppers, and yellow bell peppers. I'm not a big fan of green bell peppers, but whatever kind you like, half a cup. Half a cup of scallions. If you don't have scallions, an onion will do. Half a cup. The, the next ingredient is three tablespoons of red wine vinegar and one tablespoon of olive oil. You certainly can use more olive oil. Some people like to drizzle a little extra olive oil on the top of their gazpacho before serving. So I only put one tablespoon in the actual uh, recipe. Tabasco or any type of hot sauce. Again, if you don't like things spicy, don't put it in. We like ours kind of spicy, couple of shakes. As you can see, I don't measure. Uh, the, the next ingredient is garlic. I, today I have fresh garlic, and I'm just putting a little squeeze in because it's already ready to go. So a little squeeze, that's about a, a teaspoon. And then I'm gonna mix it up, turn my blender back on, get all my, it smells delicious, get all my ingredients combined. Now, this is all there is to it. So now you take a look at it. If that's the right consistency for you, you don't need to do anything else to it. You don't need to add more tomato juice, but if you like it thinner, 
put another cup of tomato juice in it. If you like it thicker, don't blend it so long, okay? That's all you have to do with this. And then the last ingredients are salt and pepper to taste. I use the coarse ground kosher salt and grinding pepper that you grind yourself. Our gazpacho has been chilling for about an hour and it's ready to serve. While it was chilling, I prepared some of the condiments that you can add to the top. I chopped an avocado, some red onion, some more of the English cucumber, and some more of the red bell pepper. I have lemons and limes on the side in case anybody wants to add that. Again, just to add a little extra brightness to your gazpacho. So find some pretty little glasses to serve it in and just pour it in, make sure that it doesn't all come out at the same time. Leave a little room for your little condiments on top. I like to add the red bell peppers to mine, so I'm gonna put a few little red bell peppers on top. I like to add a few cucumbers, so I'll put a few cucumbers on top. I don't eat raw onions, so I'm gonna skip that and go straight for the avocado. And I am ready to serve. Bon appetito. Yum. Enjoy. Thank you for coming to Karen's Kitchen. I'll see you next time. Bye.